Is writing hard work? Sports writer Walter Wesley Red Smith was asked whether he had difficulty writing a daily column. Why no, he was quoted as saying in 1949, you simply sit down at the typewriter, open your veins, and bleed. If I were a beginning writer, that wouldn't exactly encourage me to write. However, I've written numerous books, articles, and blog posts without dropping a single drop of blood on my computer keyboard. I'm Pat Iyer. I have written or edited 49 books, thousands of blog posts, and other forms of writing. In my world, one quality is even more important than the ability to write, and that is attitude. I'm not accusing Walter Smith of having a bad attitude, and he wasn't the only writer who described writing as difficult. I do think that many writers and other artists fall prey to the idea of the struggling artist. This struggle isn't only financial, and that can be real. It's emotional. It's the torment of finding the right word, of communicating your ideas or feelings. It's a way to justify all those hours when you look like you aren't doing anything. It's a fantasy, and I urge you not to believe it. Henry Ford, who was a man who wasn't much of a writer, but he was pretty successful, he said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. This statement brings us much closer to the truth of writing. You may have to try different ways of beginning a piece of writing. You may have to be patient with yourself as you develop your ideas. You may also have to pause at points to think things through. That's normal. Maybe you must walk away from the computer for a little while. That doesn't mean defeat. Don't make yourself suffer. The key here is don't make minor challenges into big difficulties. Remember, whatever you think, you're right. Attitude is everything. I want to talk with you today about how to motivate yourself to write. I know too many writers who have gotten the idea that self-punishment will help them achieve their goals. They berate themselves for not meeting their minimum word count for the day, for skipping a writing session, or for letting a manuscript gather dust, physical or digital. Their ultimate self-punishment takes the form of regret over abandoning a writing project. If only I'd stayed with it. I'm so undisciplined. I'm so lazy. Fill in your favorite self-critical word. They may end up hating writing. The saddest thing is that the would-be writers probably started out with enthusiasm. Along the way, though, they had some difficulty. Instead of stopping to figure out what they needed to change, they pushed through and became frustrated. Do not do that. If you're having a problem with writing, identify it. Figure out how you can learn what you need to know, whether it's how to organize your thoughts, make an outline, or how to weave stories into your narrative. Take a course, hire a writing coach, and each time you end a writing session, say, good job. Thank yourself for persisting. You deserve that praise. I provide writers with help as a writing coach. Let's talk about getting you unstuck. Reach me through my website at patire.com. That's P-A-T-I-Y-E-R.com.